as dirty as I feel. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness! Uh, I don't know if it's showing up in the camera, but there is just a layer of dust and filth all over Courtney. There are not words to describe how I feel at the moment. Um, <laughs> but this is super exciting. The ceiling is drying and it looks awesome. It's gonna be ready for paint like probably tomorrow. It's drying so quickly, which is amazing. I think we have decided to not skim coat the walls. They look really good. I just sanded them and they're like, there's no butt joints and all of the other joints look really good. So I think we're just gonna try to do two coats of primer and not skim coat them. I don't know, maybe we regret that decision, but I think it's gonna work. All right, well, Cardi, you've done a great job today. Let's go get you a shower. Yes. Whoa. That's better. That's as close to an ice bath as I will ever take. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Chili? Woo! <laughs> At least it's less likely that a icicle will land on us now. Not as eventful as I had planned. It is a lot safer appear appearing though. We just got pack back from picking up our packages and we're checking out the new gift that Nicole and Jacob sent us. So check it out. Woo, it's slippery. <laughs> but then. <laughs> so much traction. I have a feeling we're gonna need these much easier than chaining up the car or studying the excavator. Boone loves the Chuck It brand orange balls and he got one stuck in this blanket and he cannot figure out how to get to it. He is freaking out. Bubba, what are you doing? What is in there, Boone? Done, it's time for primer after this. Which is good because I am tired of being filthy. I'm gonna vacuum the ceiling now. You've been working your butt off, Courtney. <laughs> what are you doing over here? I'm warming up because I'm a little bit cold. We had everything opened up to get all the dust out. After a few long, dusty days, I think I have all of the drywall prepped in the living room, kitchen, and bedroom. Which means that it's time for paint. I've been like dreaming of this stuff because paint means that you can put floors in. Floors mean you can put baseboards on. Baseboards mean you can start moving furniture in and that means you can live in the space. And that is like my favorite transition ever. So we are both super excited to be able to start kind of living in here, using the space as a living room, using the bedroom as a bedroom, and we are getting so close to that point. I think it's gonna be a long few days coming up because I'm not gonna stop working until we are moved in. We are priming with a paint from Benjamin Moore that is specifically designed to create a vapor barrier. So we had a lot of questions in the comments about why we didn't have a vapor barrier specifically in our ceiling, and that's because we've been planning on using this vapor barrier primer from the beginning. This is gonna give us a fully air sealed and vapor sealed living area. So every outlet and every air gap in this entire space is going to get sealed and caulked along with this vapor barrier primer and it should be a perfect vapor barrier. 
And we're doing that instead of the plastic because you end, you risk having a double vapor barrier when you use plastic and that can actually trap moisture. So that's why we've decided to do it this way. And so I'm super excited to see what these walls look like with some primer on. Courtney is a very neat and careful painter and I watch her paint it and I think, yeah, I could totally do that. I make a giant mess. Luckily there's no floors in this, so it's not that big of a deal. And the mess has already begun. Someday I'm gonna be standing here and I'm gonna look out this window and there's gonna be a bear or a deer or at least a turkey, right? Or at least a something. I don't know the wildlife know to stay far, far away from Reckless Riley, I guess. I have finished cutting in, which means that it's time to roll the ceiling on. We have a sprayer. I'm not gonna use it. Um, I think the space is small enough that it's not really worth getting it all dirty and then water is such a limited resource for us and it uses a lot of water to clean it up. So I'm just gonna go old school and I'm gonna roll it on. It's gonna be my upper body workout for the week. Have you had enough of those this week? <laughs> Pretty sore. going for a smooth wall finish so I want to try to get fuzzies off so that they don't end up on the wall. It won't go on? Yeah, no, that was not it. <laughs> oh my gosh, who's supposed to take that off? <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> yeah, what the heck? What's your plan? <laughs> I'm stuck. What is that comb you're using? This is my painter tool. I'll link to all my favorite painting stuff below because I have a lot of it. And I'll tell you about stuff when I use it. This is my painter tool. You can use it to clean paint brushes. It gets the paint out of the bristles really nicely. You can use it to scrape paint out of the roller when you're cleaning the roller. You can use it for all sorts of stuff. I don't actually know what its other uses are. I think they call it like a seven in one tool. You can also use it as a pry bar. To... And then this is my spatula. I don't know <laughs> why I have a spatula in my painting backpack. Take two. Committed. Infinite adjustment. It's really awesome for the ceiling and the walls and the floor. I'm going to ask Courtney's favorite painting tool is not going to paint. Okay, yeah. I need your help for this step. What's the next step? Pour the paint into the tray. Yeah. Not on the floor. I always get assigned the very potentially messy jobs. <laughs> and that's the cleanest my face has been in weeks. <laughs> Clean up on aisle three.
Cody got me this new headlamp as part of my Christmas present and it is awesome. Plus, now I can see when I go outside at night. It makes me feel like I've got like a lightsaber or like a laser beam technology. I can throw the light out there. We'll put a link below because this thing is sweet and it's rechargeable. Okay, new plan, we're putting the drywall scrap on the ground and pouring the paint on top of it so when we make a mess, it doesn't matter. Oh, it's still splashed out beyond the drywall. Hey, I think that was our least messy pour yet. I had to put my safety glasses on because the paint was falling in my eyes and it stuck. <laughs> look, look, it's your glasses. They are covered, oh, her nose is covered in paint too. Oh my gosh. Cody just asked me if I could help cut in up here where she suddenly stopped. Yikes. There's tape, so you can't really mess it up. Watch me. The first of three coats in three rooms is done. Wow. The walls look really good too. It's very white in here right now, so I'm looking forward to getting our wall color on the walls, but I'm not gonna tell you what it is. Okay, onward. Into the darkness. Into the darkness. Bye. Quick dinner break and we are back at it. Courtney, what are we up to now? This paint's super cool and it only has a two hour recoat time, so it dries really quick. So we are now doing the second coat of primer on the walls and the ceiling. So if we can get both coats of primer done today, then that means tomorrow. Tomorrow we get to do the finished paint. I don't recommend installing your fireplace before finishing your space, unless you live somewhere cold like us, and then it's a really good idea. But it also means that you kind of have to treat it as a jungle gym that'll melt your face off. Casualty of doing business. <laughs> I'm done. You're done? I've been huffing fumes for four hours, five hours. I don't know, but we're done. These oil-based paints really get to you. I'm just kidding, it's not. <laughs> it's like, I don't feel that loopy. No, it's like zero VOC, like super safe. That <laughs> just smells like... Paint. We have very white walls now. That's it for tonight. We're gonna get a good night's sleep and we will see you guys tomorrow. Hey, you don't cut yourself. I know. <laughs> it's stuck. <laughs> Do you wanna try? Sure. Oh, gosh. You know when you like have something and you don't want to use it because then you won't have it? I've been saving these. Michael at Shower Pouch sent us these. He watches our YouTube. I've been really excited to try these. So you just put them, it's not for you. You can put them in warm water and then it's literally a shower towel. Wow. wow. This big. Because we didn't feel like turning the water heater on but I really needed to clean myself. So I'm gonna take a shower pouch shower. Oh, it smells like cucumbers. It's nice. I, I imagine that's what a spa would smell like. like. It's pulling all the paint off. I don't even know what it smells like. And now I get Courtney's secondhand shower pouch. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Michael.
I am doing the final coat of ceiling paint. It's just a flat white ceiling paint. Once I do this, we can put the lights in and we're done with the ceiling, which is super exciting. Why do you have to do ceiling paint? We already painted the ceiling. Oh. Primer isn't intended to be a finished paint, so I'm pretty sure it's not like UV stable or scrubbable or anything like that. So that's why we've got it. Even though the ceiling looks really good, we've still got to put one more coat of paint. And with that, it is time to start putting the wall color on. There's a few paint colors that are like my go-tos. I was gonna do Sherman Williams Snowbound in here. That looks like this. But after we went to the Benjamin Moore store, we fell in love with this color. It's called Sea Salt, which looks like this. And I really wanted a matte finish on the walls, but I wanted something scrubbable and durable. And so Benjamin Moore has this, they have this Aura paint that's a matte, meant for your walls that's supposed to be super durable and still scrubbable, so we'll see. Hopefully I like the color, I didn't do a swatch, I just went for it. I am one lucky guy. I'm sitting at my admiration station watching Courtney paint all the walls. Pretty awesome. Even got a pretty good view from my admiration station. Not sure what I'm admiring, my wife or the paint. Well, with that, with that, we're done with the kitchen and living room, so break time for me is over. It's time to move on to the bedroom. We do have a nice sample of this color on the floor. I carried a bunch of boxes from the car up here and didn't realize that there was paint in one of them and I set it down with the can on its side and it spilled all over the place. Luckily, Courtney caught it before we had an entire gallon on the floor. Luckily, we don't have floors yet. <sighs> Woo! That concludes my nighttime painting session. It looks really good. One more coat and we're gonna be on the floors. I love the color, I love the finish. Exactly what I was hoping for. Is it bedtime? Yeah, it's definitely bedtime. Is it dinner time? It's way past dinner time. But there's gonna be a kitchen over there soon. And then you could be making me dinner right now. Don't punch a hole in the wall. After a very long week or so, our walls are drywalled. They are textured, they are primed, they are painted, heck yeah. I think we're done with all of the messy steps. I'm sure there's more, but we are at a point where we feel like we can install our floors. We really are pushing to get this space, especially the bedroom, mostly finished so that we can move in. And so with that, thank you guys so much for watching. We can't wait to take you on the next adventure and next episode when we install our flooring. If you're enjoying our projects and our videos, please make sure to give us a like and a comment and continue sharing our videos. We really appreciate all the support. Like we've said before, we cannot do what we're doing without you guys. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time. We're just gonna make it up our hill, but we didn't. So, our flooring is now at the bottom of our hill. Now we're gonna try to make it up, unload the rest of our stuff, and get the plow truck because the plow truck is chained up. <laughs>